Celebrating Africa's rich cultural heritage. The Osho State Muslim Community has held Stakeholders Education Summit, meeting as part of activities marking the new Hijra year 1443. The Stakeholders Education Summit meeting held at the Secretariat of OSMC in Oshubo, the state capital, and was attended by top Muslim personalities. The summit with the team Education and Socioeconomic Insecurity of graduates of Islamia schools in Oshun State centered on brainstorming ways young Muslims can obtain the best form of education and live quality life. We have to allow a lot of challenges, especially in the Arabic and Islamic education in Yoruba and not only in Oshun State. It is not in the same tandem with other areas of the world. We here, we have never promoted the beauty of Islamic knowledge in our homes here. The graduates of Arabic and Islamic studies, they don't, nobody recognizes them, no employment, no encouragement, no future. You know, they form a team population of our of our state here. You see, mm -hmm. if you want, if you don't want to breed criminals, the intention of having Islamic education is to improve the society. In his speech, Vice Chancellor of Osho State University, Professor Labo Kokola, who is the chairman of the summit, implored stakeholders to consider giving scholarship to underprivileged Muslims so that it will encourage more enrollment in the Arabic and Islamic Studies Department in the University. Can Muslim community coordinate a scholarship scheme? Sir, if you raise 5 million naira in a year, it will enroll at least, at least 20 to 25 students. And the moment some people see this working, more and more people will be showing interest. So I want to put this challenge to the Muslim community. We are all Muslim community here. And we also know people who have money, but we don't talk to them. We don't take proposals to them. Can we take a proposal to some of our comfortable people? There are people who will part with five million. In a follow-up remark, Honorable Justice Jakaria of Alola expressed concern over how youths in the country are no longer interested in acquiring both Western and Islamic education. Again, an inspiring to become an ambassador of knowledge. He gave a recommendation of reorientating the youth persistently concerning education and ensuring that their future is secured by providing hope of employment and empowerment. Our youths are no longer aspiring to become anything that they can be proud of. So you, you talk of the amount of investment you put into education and what comes out of it. And what we have in our society today, whether you like it or not, is that once you invest in something, it is the outcome that matters before they can show interest. And so worldwide, talk of Western education, talk of Islamic education, people are simply not interested in getting educated again. In a communique issued at the end of the summit, Osho Muslim community appreciates philanthropic gesture of those who are currently sponsoring some students studying Arabic and Islamic studies and urged wealthy Muslims and organizations to set up scholarship for indigenous students of Arabic and Islamic studies at Osho State University. While observing that piety taught by Arabic and Islamic study instills fear of God and people, discourage corruption and social vices, thereby curbing injustice and insecurity, 
OSMC urged government at all levels to employ graduates of Arabic and Islamic study without discrimination. Khadija Abdelaziz, ABN TV News, Osho State, Nigeria.